Hello everyone. So today I was looking at this question on the community, and it is related to sending in sending an automated message to Slack every day. So the requirement here is that let us say you have uh, some issues in Jira with a due date, and whenever you have due date in Jira, then of course you can do a lot of wonderful things with it if you want to, uh, because uh, due date is basically a way for you to. Uh, do something on that particular day or maybe you're telling uh, your people that this particular activity has to be done by that particular date now the requirement here is uh, that uh, this person this user is uh, trying to use jira for uh, keeping track of let us say interns now when these interns uh, join uh, the company they do have uh, an end date and uh, because interns are not really full time employees so they will go one day uh, for sure uh, unless you know you get them you, you give them a proper job full time job but anyways they do have a due date and the requirement here is that uh, let us say if the person is uh, or if the intern is uh, leaving on 31st of december then uh, do send a message on slack for example uh, before uh, maybe this date let us say two day two two weeks before this date now uh, this is of course uh, not a very difficult thing and uh, of course you know nothing too complicated about it but i thought i'll probably show you uh, by creating a simple jql first to identify those issues that are probably due uh, maybe in two maybe in two weeks from now or maybe they are due uh, uh, from now till the next uh, you know two weeks so basically you have a date field and you can actually work on the date field and one one good thing about jira is that uh, uh, you can actually easily use the basic search feature to figure out uh, how to write jql in, unless uh, you don't really want to use the advanced uh, uh, editor advanced search so let us go to the jira instance and and then of course you know once we are we identify those issues and the requirement here is to uh, send an email uh, for those uh, issues that are due in the next uh, two weeks so this uh, uh, user has already tried something like this where uh, i can see that there is a schedule which is nine o'clock but uh, when the lookup issues is uh, basically using this jql there is no due date here so that is what we need to do uh, we basically need to use the due date now I will go to my Jira instance and I will probably uh, try to search for the issue. So let us go to the search. And uh, again, I will be using the basic search here just to keep things simple for you. So if you notice here, th there are uh, uh, multiple issues with a due date and uh, something is uh, in January, which is not really relevant. But let me maybe just create one more issue, which is probably due next week or maybe in two weeks from now, I'll probably enter something uh, dummy here and due date let us enter something which is 24th so we have 24 this one and maybe one more issue here on top so what we can do is we can switch to basic and we can go to the more field and uh, select here uh, something like this in range uh, i mean you can play with this uh, whatever works but uh, i i prefer something like this i mean it will probably give me all the issues that are due uh, th that have all the issues with the due date in this range so uh, this will hopefully give me those two issues so we have a we have this query so you can save this if you want or you can just copy the jql here like this now once you copy the jql then of course you can go to the automation rule and i'll probably create a rule from the beginning so when you create a new rule let me just go to the uh, main listing page of the automation so if you click on the create rule you will have the option to now create a rule now what you what you need to do you need to type in here uh, something like schedule hopefully we have something like schedule here yes we do have it now you want to maybe run it every day in the morning maybe nine o'clock uh, select your time zone and uh, this will be run today in a couple of hours from now and uh, and okay so basically what you can also do you can also run a jql search and execute actions for for each issue in the query so this is basically what we want to do you can actually type in your jql and cl click on the validate it will give you those two issues and save so i am not really sure if uh, if uh, 
this was done in the i am looking at the the uh, i'm looking at the jql here so i'm not really sure if uh, this user so uh, let let me read the question so i want to ch- I, I want to channel in slack to give me reminder uh, every two weeks before the due date okay so yeah i think yeah this is definitely possible so i'm not really sure what exactly is not working so add a component and what we need to do here is uh, uh, i mean you can actually uh, run a jql like this and uh, uh and this is, this is of course one way of doing it but you can also uh, run your own jql if you want and uh, that is it that is all you need to do and if you want to maybe send and send a message I'll, I'll probably you know just uh, show you very quickly so basically you need to configure your slack and uh, I- ideally you want to maybe hydrate over all these issues but i'm just showing you very quickly so you need to specify your webhook url and then in the message you have to use uh, something like uh, like this something uh that will basically contain the issue url issue key and you can also you know uh use here something like you know this is due in two weeks and you you can of, of course you know do wonderful things here if you want and uh, that is it that is all uh i think you need to do if you want to i mean the main thing here is actually the j- is basically this jql to identify those issues that are due in two weeks so if you are doing something with jira you need to make sure that you are comfortable using uh, jql uh, both of course basic search and and, and of course uh, advanced search because uh, when you are using uh, jira for the very first time you may not uh, know how to search using jql but you can always go to the issue navigator and uh, switch to basic and play with the option on, options on top once you are comfortable with this you will get an idea so because in this particular jql we are looking at all the issues uh with the due date but that is not uh, that, that may not be uh showing us the actual result for example if you look at this particular uh, list here one of the issue is already done so what maybe what you can also do is you can uh, add one more query and resolution is uh, not is not equal to maybe done i guess hopefully it will work so uh this will make sure that we don't really have uh, uh the issues come on resolution is not done ah I, d- i think i did something wrong and resolution is not done so let me just uh, get this working first because okay resolution so we have issues with resolution done and unresolved okay so i think probably a better way to better way is to do something like uh, is not uh, uh, unresolved this is probably better because this will make sure or equal to uh, equal to resolved sorry so this is something that you can do here to make sure that you get the results based on uh, not only due date but also your resolution and of course you know because it is jql you can do other things and uh, again i, I try to uh, I, i always recommend that in case uh, you are not really sure how to use these uh, queries because I, i understand not everyone is comfortable because in, if you have some background writing database queries then of course you, you'll find it easy but not everyone is comfortable using these operators and uh, they're not really sure what to type so take a look at the at, at the uh, basic search and you will be able to figure out things very easily so that is all that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much